the Big E, Alvin Hayes, having a great year for Washington. Ninth in scoring, seventh in rebounding, playing more now due to the injury to Bob Dandridge. And the Big E from his patented spot, averaging 22 points a game. Williams and Richardson, as we mentioned, Dandridge is not in there, and Greg Ballard has been opening at that forward spot in place of the veteran. Ball right to the basket. Two very physical teams, and here's Greg Ballard, the third-year man out of the University of Oregon. Elvin Hayes, the Big E, answers at the other end. He's been doing that for 12 years, that patented shot in the lane. He turns around and falls away, and hardly anybody can get to that shot. Elvin Hayes, that is a shot that he will shoot every chance he gets. He sure will. Double team that time, and he still got, was able to put it up. Out to Jim Clemens. The Big E, 16-12, the Knicks with the lead, and he has everybody on him that time. Cartwright and Richardson double teamed, and he's fouled. Elvin Hayes makes it 16-13 in favor of the Knicks. Back up to a five-point lead. Elvin Hayes, from way out that time, gets the touch and the roll. What did he have, six steals in a game against San Antonio this week? Here's Elvin Hayes. Boy, you lean in like that, and it's all over. Nine points for the Big E. Tough one last night in San Diego and had to drive down to L.A. to play that. They sure did. Same thing that the Knicks are doing here, playing and coming back playing this morning. Unsell is fouled. I should say they drove up. Here's the Big E. Two-point lead for the Knicks. Elvin trying to tie it up. And he had 28 all. 141 to go in this first period. Playing more, and Richardson's trying to get it inside of Porter. Here comes Kevin Porter. The man who can... Really, a mouth the assist that time shot instead. I think that surprised New York. So far with Dick Mata and the Bullets. Williams trying one on the baseline. That'll be off the New York. Washington now with a chance to climb back in, trailing by three. Points already in the game. His season's average is 20. Elvin Hayes up the glass and the Big E with 14 points for the afternoon. And the rebound by Ray Williams, who seems to be all over the place and unsell. John Williamson rejected that beautifully by Marvin Webster. Kevin Porter, Hayes, oh, he loads it up in a hurry. He sure does. Marvin Webster, the human eraser, scores six minutes remaining until halftime. Elvin Hayes lets everybody go up. That ball was partially deflected, follows his own shot, and he's fouled. Good second effort by Elvin Hayes, 34-year-old veteran. Listen, what a year this man is having. He also has five rebounds today. Washington now by two. Richardson, who came back in after that last time out, as did this man, Bill Cartwright, against Unsell. Hayes is there again, and Hayes with his sixth rebound of the day. He does it with kind of a final note to it. You just clear out. I would think go with a small forward very long. Here's Hayes. Talk about how physical New York is. How about that move by Hayes? Part of that front line that's one of the most physical in the game, the Washington Bullets with Ballard, Unsell, and Hayes. Greg Ballard. And Richardson going for the rebound and a pushing foul. Now bumped it back up to a six-point lead and maybe seven here. The technical plus the personal. Seven-point lead now for Washington. And 22 points for the Big E. Ray Williams. Williams can't get it to go. Toby Knight, but Hayes comes away off to Kevin Porter. Richardson down there, but Porter beat him. He had to wait on that pass, and it didn't look like he'd make it in time. It was a great outlet pass by Elvin. That's the only way he could get it down there was to lob it up like that. Ike tries to force a shot. Hayes had a hand on it. It will be New York's ball, and Hayes is playing with enthusiasm. Him a spurts. Porter now. They trap him in the backcourt. Off to Ballard. John Williamson, and I thought he's going to shoot it again. Here's Elvin Hayes. He faked Monroe and took it in. Great drive by the Big E. With that fake, got the one defensive man by it. Forced it up. But look at this rebound by Larry Demick. Good second effort, but he can't get it to go. Hayes off to Clemens. Jim Clemens, the Big E, and the Big E's down again. He gets his hands on the ball, what he's going to do with it. 26 points. Can't believe how this game has turned incredible. around. Incredible. Kevin Porter, Ray Williams on him. Porter trying to make things happen. Hayes follows, and there's what Porter can do. Just penetrate and make something develop. And Kevin Porter's open. Gets it off to Hayes. Elvin Hayes going to try to find a better spot. In the it's interesting that the, the better spot for Elvin is often a step or two farther out from the basket. It's 38 to 16. A 10-point game, 12 minutes remaining. Elvin Hayes forced the shot, and he got it. That's a fine shot, but it went through. 31. 
31 points. Hayes, the leading scorer in the game, he has 32. 102 to 94, just inside 10 minutes, and Alvin Hayes now has 34 points. Real pleasant surprise. Excellent shooter as evidenced by today. Kevin Porter again making things happen. Gets it off to E and that gets two more points and the bullets are still in it and Dick Mata. Down. And pushing and shoving between Hayes and Merriweather and some angry people right now. It's the shot in this game. There's your time remaining. If it's not one of them, it's another. It's Toby Knight or Cartwright. Hayes at the other end. Well, that's what Red Holzman has been wanting with this young team, to get them to play as a team. That's really a good point for a young team like New York is. Elvin Hayes, by away jumper against Merriweather, and Elvin Hayes now with 41. That is one below his high for the year. Toby Knight, the basket will not count. It's a loose ball foul. And that was actually a good foul by Toby Knight, fouling Elvin. In the field in this fourth quarter, that's a high for the year, 43 points for Elvin Hayes. What a job this man has done after trailing at halftime by 12 points. Come thundering back in this game to take a 133 to 124 victory after losing by three points last night to the Boston Celtics.